Today, I'm gonna to answer a question as old as time. Does size matter when it comes to your light diffusion? Now, I know you're thinking, wow, that was funny. And sometimes we make these funnies around here. If you like funnies, go ahead and hit the like button. And why don't you go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well. <laughs> I'm sorry. But before we get into the difference between small and large light dome, what is a light dome, or at least what is light diffusion? So light diffusion is the idea of softening light. So that way you create softer, more gradual shadows, as well as it can help hide imperfections on the subject, making a more flattering overall image. Now, think of light diffusion as when you're outside. The sun, it's very bright, and when we look down and we see the shadows following us, they're very well-defined, very sharp on the edges, where when it's cloudy, partly cloudy or overcast, we'll notice those shadows almost are either very, very soft or they're almost gone, and that's kind of what light diffusion and light dome can do. So what is the difference between a smaller light dome and a larger light dome? Well, the biggest thing is gonna be the spread of light. Now, because the smaller one is smaller, the light won't go as far. So you may have to let, pull the light further to get away from your subject, but at that point, then you have to increase the intensity, where the larger light dome will be able to cover a larger area. So think of it if you're filming with a smaller light dome, and you're filming just a talking head like this, or you've got a small product, that could work perfectly fine. But if you've got a full body or wider frame shot, or a larger product, or you're filming an interview with two people and you've only got one light, you're gonna want a larger light dome because that's gonna have a further range to be able to have the light go, a further spread. But on that point is the intensity of light. So as we can see, with this light that has no diffusion on it, just the harsh light, we can see it's very bright, the shadows are very sharp and contrasty, but when we put on the smaller softbox, we'll notice that it does help soften those shadows as well. But then when we look at the larger softbox, not only are those shadows softened even more, but the image is a little bit darker. Why is that? Well, one of the big reasons is because you're covering the light and there's more room for the light to bounce around. The smaller softbox has a, a smaller profile and so the light doesn't need to travel and bounce as far and so it's gonna be brighter. Now, sometimes they do have, at least for like this dome I bought, they do have secondary diffusers that you can put in there as well to kind of soften it even more and then bring down the intensity of the light as well. So with a larger light dome, you may need to increase the intensity a little bit more to match the brightness or exposure of a smaller light box. But now that we have the two different lights, we've got a better idea of the differences and the benefits and negatives. What about the size of them? Now you're probably thinking, well, hold on a second, the size. We already knew that was a big difference because that's how the video started. But the size is really gonna matter depending on where you're filming. I used to film with an attorney at his home office. It was a very small room. And when I got the light dome, I bought the biggest one because you know what they say, bigger is better. Go big or go home. And I didn't want to go home because I had a film. So I got this giant light dome and it looked great and it was a soft image, it looked cool, but the only issue was the room was kind of small. So in order for him to get out to change his outfits, he'd kind of have to duck, bob, weave, and it became kind of an inconvenience where it was more of a hassle. And with the smaller light dome, which I purchased when I filmed the video not too long ago, how to film in a small room, check it out. <laughs> that would be perfect for when you're filming in a smaller space. So you just kind of need to think about where you're going to be filming. Obviously, if you can have a bigger light dome and are able to work around with it, I think that'd be great. But if you don't have the space, then a smaller light dome will work just fine as well. So overall, these are the biggest differences between a small and larger light dome. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye.